the gravity view shortcode is used to embed views on pages or posts. The shortcode has one required parameter, which is the view ID. However, there are several other optional parameters that you can make use of to customize the output. We'll go through each one of them in this video. But first, here's how to find the embed shortcode for a view in gravity view. So to get the embed shortcode for your view, just head over to the views page in gravity view, hover over your view and then click edit. When that's loaded, you'll see the embed shortcode here on the right, just above the update button. And you can see it contains the view ID already. The search field parameter that we're going to look at later in the video takes a field ID as its value. So before we move on, here's how to find the ID for a specific field in Gravity Forms. To find the ID for one of the fields in your form, head over to the Forms page in Gravity Forms, then hover over your form and click Edit. When that's loaded, just click on the fields you need the ID for, and then you'll see the ID here under Field Settings, just next to the field type. As you can see, this is my view. It's a table layout displaying information about community members on my website, including their name, city, age, and favorite sport. Using the gravity view shortcode and making use of certain parameters, I can customize the data being displayed in my table. Okay, let's have a look at the search value parameter. The search value parameter allows you to search for entries that contain a specific value. So in this example, I only want to display entries that contain the word baseball. So let's see what it looks like on the front end. Okay, as you can see, there are only three members that chose baseball as their favorite sport. So when using the search value parameter, it's not an exact match search. The value only has to be contained somewhere within the entry. So to illustrate this, let's search for the word ball. We'll check it out on the front end. And as you can see, the entries that contain the word baseball and basketball both show up because those words contain the word ball. The search field parameter allows us to search values in a specific field instead of the entire entry. All we need to do is specify the field ID. So let's search for the word baseball again, but this time we'll restrict our search to the city field. So if we load that on the front end, we can see that no entries match our request because the word baseball is not contained within the city field. The search operator parameter allows us to perform more advanced searches using different filters. So in this example, we're searching for entries where the person did not choose baseball as their favorite sport. This is done by specifying is not as the search operator value. So let's check it out on the front end. As you can see, the results show all the people who did not choose baseball as their favorite sport. The search operator parameter accepts a number of other values, including is, is not, not in, in, contains, starts with, ends with, like, and more. The sort direction parameter allows you to change the sort direction by specifying either ASC for ascending or DESC for descending. You'll also need to specify a sort field. In this example, we're sorting entries by favorite sport ascending. So let's check it out. As you can see, the entries are sorted by the favorite sport ascending in alphabetical order. The start date and end date parameters allow you to display entries that were created within a certain date range. 
the date should be written using the year, month, day format. Or alternatively, you can use relative dates. To learn more about relative dates, check out our documentation. The detail parameter allows you to display information about the currently displayed view. So for example, setting the detail parameter equal to total entries will display the total number of entries in the view. So let's see what it looks like on the front end. As you can see, we've got our table layout here, and then we've got the total number of entries at the top, which is three. 